Hello, it's noon on Wednesday, the 6th of December. You're tuned in to our midday newscast here on Adi Lang TV. Thank you, as always, for joining us. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this afternoon, South Korea has been added to the European Union's first ever blacklist of tax havens, along with 16 other nations. With sanctions measures likely to be drawn up soon, the South Korean government is protesting the decision, calling it a violation of its tax sovereignty. Our Yoo Jin Hee starts us off. In an unprecedented move to clamp down on tax evasion, the EU has named and shamed 17 nations, including South Korea, as offshore tax havens. The landmark decision follows a series of revelations involving tax avoidance schemes used by some of the wealthiest and most powerful individuals in the world. In regards to South Korea, the EU says the country's tax incentives for offshore companies to invest in its free economic zones lack transparency. It cited harmful taxation policies that were discriminatory against local residents in comparison to foreign investors. Seoul's finance ministry lodged a strong protest following the announcement, saying the decision was not in line with international standards and agreements. The ministry says the EU applied a different standard than the widely accepted multilateral OECD guideline on the exchange of financial information. Seoul claims the EU has violated its tax sovereignty by forcibly implementing its own tax standards on a non-EU member nation. Brussels has yet to agree on the action it will take on the blacklisted countries, but specific measures are likely to be drawn up soon. In addition, it has also placed 47 additional countries on a watch list of countries that have promised to change their tax rules to meet EU standards. Even more countries could be added to the blacklist, which is set to be updated annually if improvements aren't made. Eugenie, Arirang News.